Here we go. So, class. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a line. We're going to make a line. That line is going to be the path um, for your TIE fighter to fly along. We're going to learn how to manipulate it. It's slightly different than a polygon, but it's, it's, it's very similar, just a slightly different word. Uh, then we're going to go into a different mode, and we're going to uh, attach it. I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do this once really fast. I'm going to turn off my projector, and then I'm going to do it again a little slower, hopefully, with the projector. So if you want to try and follow along, know that I'm going to repeat this, okay? All right. So here we go. First thing you can do is, if you haven't done a save as, go ahead and do a save as. But um, you could get rid of your image planes, and like your objects that you're going to model later, once you don't have the actual drawing to compare it to, it tends to look better already. So I'm just, you can select those image planes and delete them. All right. If you made keyframes, you can quickly delete those keyframes by going to edit and you can go to delete by type and you can choose channels and that'll get rid of all the information that you've done for keyframing. Channels. Edit, delete by type channels if you've already spun it. All right. Probably going to run out of time, but here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to do one, make a curve. So I'm going to go up here to create, and instead of choosing polygon, I'm going to choose curve tools, CV curve tool. Tap your neighbor on the shoulder and say CV curve tool. Tap him. Let me hear people go, ow. CV curve tool. CV curve tool. All right. Someone here in the class knows what it is when you forget. I'm going to make CV curve tool. When I initially start my CV curve tool, I want to be on my top view. So I'm going to hit spacebar and go to my top view. And I'm going to make a curvy, curvy line. So I make one dot, two dots, nothing's happening, G. Three dots, four dots, a line starts to form. So you have to make four dots. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking along, making four dots, five dots. And there's my, that's the path that he's going to fall under. When I'm done, I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Okay. Then I can manipulate the shape of this by going to control vertex, just like vertex, but it's called control vertex. And I want to make this one a little further, right? If you want to try and make a loop to loop, go for it. I'm going to make him kind of go up and I'm going to make him kind of come down so you can kind of make it more three dimensional. You can keep it on the two dimensional path, something like that. Okay. Here's the important part. Here's the one that people are going to get gotcha on. Now we have to change modes. Don't freak out. So you got CV curve tool. That's new. Second thing that's new is we got to switch modes. Everyone look up here. Look in the upper left hand corner. Look what I'm clicking. You guys see this? Where my red thing is? We're going to switch that to animation mode. So up here in the upper left hand corner, you got to switch to animation mode. Then it gets really easy. I'm going to click on the TIE Fighter. I'm going to double check, forgot, before you click on the TIE Fighter or afterwards, double check that you're at 120 frames right here. 120 frames right there. Make sure you're in animation mode. Then shift select, select your TIE Fighter first, shift select your curve. I don't think it matters what order, but it might. Then I'm gonna go to constrain. That's the word. And I have it written down here just so uh, when I'm done in a second, constrain, right? Go back to Maya. Come on, Maya. All right. So I'm going to go constrain, motion path, attach the motions, options. There's one option you got to change. That's one option. And that's the front axis. I believe the default they say is your front axis is X. You want to make your front axis Z. How do you know? Well, the blue arrow is pointing forward when you click on your TIE Fighter. That's the Z axis, that's the front. Um, time range is time slider, right? So if you wanted to make this last longer or have it travel faster, you could play with this, this length here. And I'm gonna hit attach. Notice the TIE Fighter jumped to the back of the path, like so, okay? And now when I hit play, it does this. I'm going to click off of it even. 
all right? So you can play with that path. You can hit undo and change it again and all that stuff and have some fun. That's what you're going to play blast. So how, and you can zoom in a little bit so you can kind of get like a cool angle of it, like coming into a, an attack set, something like there, something like that, right? If you wanted to be super pro about it, if you wanted to be super pro about it, you can select this here. And you see how in your channel box, remember your channel box is right here. You see how there's a visibility? I can turn that off. I can type in zero or write the word off. The path isn't even there, but it'll still fly along that path. Pretty cool, huh? All right, then I'm ready to play blast. You're gonna call it four underscore TIE fighter underscore last name. So I'm gonna go to right click, play blast options. I'm gonna go to browse. And I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to go to call it four underscore tie fighter underscore last name. And I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit play blast. There's my play blast. I can hit play. Then I'm going to just turn that into the submit folder. So once again, you should have an alias. If you don't, it might show up in the left-hand corner or left-hand side of, it might show up right here anyway, and you click on MAI3 server, right? Or excuse me, right there, MAI3 server, I3 classes, or your alias, and you're gonna turn it into animation submit. Animation submit, let's go ahead and drag and drop it in there. I'm gonna leave animation submit on so you can see your submissions. 